with you. Having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Open Heavens Reflections based on daily devotional written by Pastor E. E. Adeboe, the General Basia of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Hoeke Christian Etonani and it's a pleasure to be with you today. The topic is sin against the body. And the Bible passage is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, from 15 to 20. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of the harlot? Certainly not. Or do you not know that he who, joined, who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. So free sexual immorality, even sin that a man, every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you are from God, and you are not your own? For you are bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's memory verse is also from the same uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and it is verse 18 fleeing sexual immorality every sin that a man does is outside the body but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body our reflections the Bible is very categorical that we are not for ourselves neither are we made to satisfy the desires of our flesh we have mentioned in the course of the month that there is a tripartite sin of lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. The precursor to all sin of the flesh is the foothold that we allow the flesh to have in our lives. This happens when we cannot control our flesh and our body becomes, uh, and our body becomes the Lord and the master of our actions. The Bible says that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. This means that God dwells in our bodies. The same body cannot be the temple of evil. The Bible passage that we read earlier states that anyone who is joined to a harlot has become one with her. It is not possible to be joined to a harlot as well as the Holy Spirit at the same time. This is a contradiction in terms. God formed us that we might please Him all our lives and to live in, accord in accordance to His counsel. As a result, we have to flee all sexual immorality. We have to ensure that every inducement to sin is avoided. There is nothing as sapping as the sin of fornication, which is sex between unmarried people, and adultery, which can also be extra marital affair. Of course, there are other equally destructive sins that we do face in our lives which involve substance abuse. For instance, we all know that the use of alcohol, cigarettes, and other dangerous drugs is against the will of God. We have heard about some, so many people, especially popular people, who died as a result of drug overdose. And we can easily agree that these incidents don't give glory to God and also brings destruction. So in line with the scriptures that we've read today, I implore you by the mercies of God to flee all appearances of evil, including all forms of sin against your body, be it sexual or substance abuse, and live a life pleasing to God from today. The good Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Our prayer point, Father, please help me to honor you daily with my body and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. I wish you a happy Easter again. Do have a wonderful celebration and enjoy the victory.